coming up on Mobile Learning in the Classroom Summer Writing. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is Mobile Learning in the Classroom from TechEd and today I want to talk to you about summer writing. Um, summer is a great opportunity to do concentrated projects and also to do some extensive writing. Um, because kids have different experiences, it's an opportunity to reflect on these experiences and to keep them in their memory. And when I say writing, I actually mean composition in a more general way of thinking about composition. So it's not just words, but it's also movement, potentially video, and definitely uh, some kind of graphic representation. It can be picture you take with your camera, whether it's a digital camera or your device, and devices are more common right now than uh, actual digital cameras, although both are possible, even things you take with your computer, and definitely things you draw, uh, kids draw on their own on a piece of paper and create, and then we can transfer them to a digital format by taking a picture of them or scanning them and creating this representation that comes together when we combine text and other information together, mostly visual, but it could also be audio um, as well. For example, we can take um, audio, record audio of uh, nature. We can record the birds early in the morning. We can record whales if we're there to see whales or anything else that happens. So you can actually really create multimedia products and we really want kids to start practicing creating this kind of writing because this is really what appeals and this is what technology really affords right now as we tell stories. So I'd like to, take about, to talk about a few options and the first option I want to talk about is My Diary. My Diary is an app on the Chromebook and in My Diary you can create diary entries as, as expected but what you can see here is you can again create this multimedia product where you insert pictures, video, files, emoticons, uh, tables or draw directly on it or of course you can just start writing. So uh, there are some tips here and you can format but again I would argue that uh, that you don't want to play too much with formatting especially early on because we want kids to actually be focused on the creation side. Uh, this is my first entry and let's add a picture so it said okay how do I insert a picture and I can upload uh, from local uh, or I can use a link so I can add a specific file I can go to my pictures file and look for a picture that I want to include this is a picture of my son for quite a while ago but it does not matter you bring it in it compresses it quite a bit and um, here it is and so you can actually add that visual element and then uh, and that is important you can share it so you can send it to somebody uh, although it being a diary you may want to keep it to yourself and that's fine as well and you can see that you have all of these control everywhere to make sure that you can actually be interactive and also if you are sharing it with multiple, uh, between multiple kids in the classroom, they can actually react to each other. If you still have time to set it up, as kids go out on vacation, they can actually keep the conversation going while they're on vacation, see what your, their friends are doing, which is a great way to share in a safe environment that is uh, contained. And what you can see is that this is a simple interface that is very, very user-friendly and open to all of these extra um, media that makes that composition rich, we want to make sure that there's enough uh, written product as well. So this one is called My Diary. I find this very, very user friendly and uh, I really like using it. Here's another one. This is Sway and Sway is from uh, Microsoft. It's a new product that allows you to do presentations and creations. It has an emphasis on multimedia. You do need a Microsoft login. You can have multiple authors in this one. So unlike My Diary where it's your diary, this can be a joint product that a group does together. It has an emphasis again on media so these are pictures I just took this morning and added I by the way used sway on my iPad so it works on the iPad as well and um, 
but uh, the options on a Chromebook or a laptop are a little bit better and a little bit easier to control. There are lots of ways to uh, do some design there and there's actually a way to play it so it plays it slowly. Now I have only very few pictures so there's not much uh, to show. And again, lots of opportunities to share. This one is very good at documenting any projects you go, you do over the summer or during the school year. So it's fantastic to create, to document uh, um, your travels as you're going from place to place. You can add pictures, you can add text. It's fairly easy to do both in something like this. So if I go into my edit, this is uh, during my preview and by the way this is a button I love there's the remix button and it changes the background and the way things are organized so you can be really creative quickly and see if there are some things that you want uh, to change and then you can uh, insert images you can insert uh, projects you can uh, insert text so I can start changing I can change this heading or I can add something new so I can just do plus and say I want another heading what's my heading um, ideas for redecorating my yard and now I can bring in uh, images that would fit under uh, that that and what I like is they created like many other uh, apps around uh, I it has suggestions on the side based on the words you choose and, and that's great because you can just drag and drop things and they just get added to this way you just created so it can be your own media but there's lots of suggestions for media from the outside so sway is really really cool the last thing that i want to remind uh, or the last couple of apps that i want to show uh, one is iDiary and this is there's a bunch of these diaries that are available on the iPads. I love them because unlike a, a Chromebook or an, a notebook computer, you can actually take it and write on it everywhere you are. Uh, they're well charged and therefore they allow you to really create on the spot while on the move. As long as your uh, device is charged, you're ready to go and it's considerably more comfortable than for example having the laptop on your knees in the car or in a campsite or something like that. So the advantage for me with the iPad or even phones is they are truly mobile and they can be anywhere and they function extremely well whereas the notebooks and the Chromebooks are a little bit more cumbersome and you tend to have a more organized workspace to create in. So this is where I would use the iPads uh, as a choice or other tablets as well. So today we talked a little bit about uh, summer writing and summer writing is a great time to do some writing because kids have lots of new experiences, lots of new ideas and therefore they're using a really creative opportunities without having school-like assignments. It's a great time to explore, it's a great time to do uh, without feeling like you have to produce within a certain amount of time or to a specification that isn't yours. So it's a creative time. And I'll see you next time on Mobile Learning in the Classroom.